Hey guys, Rivenhead here. Welcome back to another episode <laughs> of Astroneer. Trying to figure out what the heck I was stuck in. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves today. After my debacle in yesterday's episode, I still had fun. It was all good. Everything was fun. It was fine, you know? You, you, sometimes you gotta fail in order to succeed, so that's what we're doing today. Um, so, if you guys may recall, I parked this stupid monstrosity on top of the other one. I have no idea how that happened. Stupid game does stupid things. I think what it is is that this vehicle bay It just prints things at it. it it's this level here is wrong Remember things were off a little bit. So I think that's the part of the problem. You can't land on it um, And if you can also see I have a pink beacon or purple beacon over there. So my thoughts were let's go um, I've got basically nothing We're okay um, Do I need I got some tethers we should be good. So let's take a little adventure into outer space. Um, let's pick up all this stuff. I just want to get rid of everything that I can. Um, we're going to go to Baron, the Baron planet. Do a little bit of research gathering once again. Um, and okay, I'm going to get rid of is that. Yeah, that's all smelted. Everything's done. Look at this. I just printed off a whole bunch of stuff and it's I, once again right back at it. Load it up again. Uh, that should be everything, right? Everything we need. I don't have anything. What are you? I got another soil canister on there, don't I? I do. I was trying to figure out where the heck my other soil canister went. And now I found it. Uh, you can go right there. Okay. I'm going to maintain this. This should be good. So let's head off. We'll go off to Baron. Now, Baron was the planet that we had. We got the Sphalerite. If I remember, if I'm using the term properly. That was the one that had the, um, oh good, it's still there. That's the one that had the, um, it's just our little moon. Really easy place to get around to. We've already been there. Uh, it was not too troublemat problematic or anything. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, so let's go over to here. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm going back here, because of the fact that we've been there before. And I don't want to go too terribly far in case I run into any issues. Not like any planet would be any different from any other one. I just don't know how much fuel I use up doing these little excursions, so it's okay. Um, now I'm trying to think. Think, 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 think. I think this is the one that we landed on because I, I'm pretty sure that the that hill was not too far away. I'm pretty sure that's the landing place. We'll find out when we get there. And again, doesn't necessarily really matter too much anyway. This does not look like where we landed before, but that's okay. Um, we're here just to gather resources. We're going to harvest everything we can. What are you? Ladder right. Aluminum ore. It's fine. Um, I'm looking for ammonium, al aluminum, anything. Like, every resource right now is key. Like, none of them are off the table for me, because I'm just going to smelt all of it. I mean, I'm using up a little bit of resources just to get here. Use it all up. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you guys on pause while I go and do a bunch of the gathering and stuff. And uh, if any adventures happen, of course, I'll bring you guys back for it. But just hold tight, and uh, and I shall return momentarily. So I thought I'd bring you guys back in. I've been down, I've been digging for a bit. Just been gathering as much resources as possible. Having a blast, actually, in here. Um, I'm f finding that the resource gathering in this game is really quite cathartic and very entertaining and I've been enjoying the heck out of it. These guys though, they need to go die a slow, horrible, miserable death and don't want to ever see them again. I hate them. Uh, but I don't mind them when you can catch them in advance so that they don't spit at you. But when they do, bastards. Uh, but yeah, this has been, um, I just dug down as you guys could see I did a little tunnel thing again because it's my new modus operandi it seems. Oh man, there is, there is, um, I didn't know if it was here. <gasps> Tempted to come back. I might be doing another round anyway. Um, but yeah, as you guys could see, I did my little trick again. Um, there's been a few of these things, so I wanted to grab one here. Do your thing. Drop down. Okay, we know where it went now. Um, what is that? It was debris, okay. But do you see that? I'm, we'll get a closer look at it. I just thought it was too unique not to bring you guys along to show. 
Because I've never seen it happen this way before. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, don't get too freaking close. Let's make these tethers real quick. I'm going to use up the last of these tethers and I'll just gather a little bit more resources. Uh, oh, look at that. You see, apparently it's not the first time that guy's gotten somebody. There's a body right over there. I just spot... Ooh, what? what the, oh, it's Fairlight. Um, yeah. Probably more important than a few things, but we will we will deal with it in a second. Um, what is on your backpack? Narrow mod. Don't really care. Good to know that it's here, but it's not really the end-all be-all for me. Um, how do I get rid of that thing? I can't. Just got to walk away, I guess. Okay, so this is not what we were doing. Get away from it. Uh, but look at this. There is one of those balls hanging from the ceiling. Where? Oh, God, why? Everything's hanging from the ceiling. Get away. Oh, dear Lord, why does everything want to get me? It's a game, that's why. Video games like me dead. Oh yeah, you think you guys could do that? Deal with that. And you deal with that. Man, I gotta come back here. The ammonium down here. Uh, I haven't found any up until right this second. So that's kind of nice to have access to. Uh, well, till, yeah, till I get down here. But yeah, look at that. I just love the fact that we got one of these little dudes up here in the ceiling. Boingy boingy. Uh, okay, doesn't really bounce very well. It's a zebra ball. Um, there's three variants, my understanding. So that is um, the more common of the of the variants, which is cute, and I love them. Uh, we're gonna grab the research though because I've got a bit. I found a couple of those guys down here. I thought there was more than that. Oh, okay, yeah, there's there. A lot of this stuff. I probably got as much research out of this as I would have doing a whole bunch at, at our base. So I'm very happy. Um, we also had this here. As I saw another ball. So there's two of these balls right here in the same area. Which I thought was kind of cool. I don't know what that blue thing is over on the wall either. So we're going to go take a look at that too. Get rid of you. Just debris. Okay. Good to know. Look at this, more research. Can't have enough. And we'll, I, like I said, I've already taken a, um, a boatload back up to the base. Uh, Surlite as well as lithium. Don't have either of them. Uh, I will get the ammonium on another round. We'll come back here and we'll do another jaunt. But I just thought this cave was too pretty not to bring you guys around and show you. That was really pretty. Just booting around, just taking a little tour before I was heading out, and I thought I would show you guys one more thing I found. I found Sputnik. Um, not the first time I found him in, in, in any of the games. Voyager and Sputnik are the ones I've seen so far. But yeah, I think this is really cool. The developer is paying homage to our actual uh, space program and incorporating historical bits. Oh, he's had a, he's seen better days, I guarantee you that. You can, I can't manipulate or move him. I have to use a winch in order to get him out. Uh, so I don't really know how beneficial that is, but you know what? It was it's worthwhile to show you guys some of the cool stuff whenever I do find it. You know, why not? Doesn't hurt anyway. So yeah, hold tight. We'll go right back up to our actually. Let's do that right now. Uh, we'll go grab that little. Ooh, there you go. Look at that. Another couple hundred. Two thirty one. I've gathered a couple of thousand XP or uh, of stuff since we since I got here. I'll give you guys a little quick tour of what I've done here. As you can tell, I'm quite uh, fond of these little ramps. Uh, this area up here was brilliant, full of wonderful, glorious holes that I could make. Um, man, this guy's respawning again. Kind of hard to say no, but not really. I, I don't, I'm not going to chance getting killed again. Uh, I haven't died here on this round, thankfully. Uh, but there is ground that is impenetrable. So I need dynamite or something along those lines, which is something we are working towards. So don't you sweat. Don't you worry. Um, oh, look at that. More. This stuff just keeps on growing. Every time I've come down here, this has been here. And it's like 50, 50 at a pop. This I, I could honestly just come here, hang out, mine research all day long, and do better than I would by actually doing research back at our base. It's so great. It's really good here. Uh, I love it. So yeah, let's head off. Make another one. At 50, 50 XP per. I can't say no to those things. 
Okay, so we have a full load here. Um, kind of. Uh, we need one more. I got space for one more bit. Let's go grab it. Uh, where are we at? I think I had Sir Light was right over here, wasn't it? One of these directions. There we go. Laterite. Okay, so I've got laterite and spherolite. Perfect. Yeah, that's right. We had laterite on the first one. Okay. So we have a full, like, and when I say full, I even, like, all, all of it. Every space that I had available is loaded up. We're good. Uh, so let's head off. What is that over there? No, that's just, um, I thought that was a, a, a base or something, but it's not. Let's just, we're good. Oh, sure it does feel good to actually have accomplished something. Now you're wondering, okay, Rivet, so you, you did this whole excursion. What's the purpose of it? You know, you know, why, why did you feel the need? Uh, you'll see here in a second. We'll get back up. We will go to Terran. And the entire purpose of this entire endeavor today, the only reason I was doing any of this, as silly as it is, is to move our base. Uh, I want to land this in a place that's not as dangerous as the other one. I, I don't want to land this on top of our thing again. The amount of fuel we used up is not horrible. So we can do more excursions. That makes me very happy. Uh, so what I'm looking for is the purple beacon. If and when we see it, we're good. And we're going to land at it. I'm pretty sure that uh, it's visible from space. I'm 90% sure. Not 99, but 90. And man, this, there we go. This looks like some of the stuff we've been doing down here. There's the green one. The purple one should be just below it. And right at that purple beacon is our uh, shuttle. Or not shuttle, our, our rover. Our medium-sized rover. So that means that we can actually have two b bases of operation. So I can set this up as a landing pad. And we can actually build out to here. That was kind of my thoughts and purposes of doing this. Look at this. Purple beacon right there. Cave right there. Man, nothing wrong with this. Hopefully this isn't as far as I... Yeah, it's not too far. You like the little monstrosity I made so I could see it from a distance? And I put the beacon right on it as well. It's literally on the contraption, so we have no issues and no worries. So let's get in. Yeah, we don't wanna we don't wanna park this in that. Okay, that was interesting. And why I'm going back here for sure is because I don't want to lose a damn thing. At all. Uh, so I'm going to leave the beacon right here. Uh, what do we have here we can lose? Oxygen tank is not necessary. Oh, no, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. We can take everything we need. So beacon will be put here. Lithium will put you right here. Um, there. This can be carried right here. Method to my madness, right? And you, my friend, will go right there. And the only other thing I have is this. Which can go... Right there. Uh, I don't need this on my pack right now. There we go, power cells. They're not necessary. Actually, not a whole lot of it is necessary right now. Okay. Then we will endeavor to continue. So... I, I like this. So, I mean, I know that that was our other little area, our other little base, um, where I was going, where I died. And I thought it'd be a fun place to hang out and do a bunch of stuff. I still do. I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities to do stuff there. Um, but I thought it was also prudent to um, have a second base of operations to build this out to. Um, you know, we've got, as you can see now, we've got two of these miners. We've got two. Um, flying contraption so why not utilize everything the way that we can right I mean it just makes perfect sense to me to do that um, 
And plus, like, I can go on one of these excursions, come back with it, like, load it up like this, just go, okay. This is done. Load that there. Just sit this up. And then it just starts smelting like crazy. And we're all good. And then for two resin, I can make another one of these things. And then, like, another um, holder. And then we can do this over and over again. And eventually I'll have it so that I don't have to recycle through all the resin all the time. I will eventually get it to the point where I can just take something and say, okay, I, I, I've used up a thing, we, we're, we're good. But I think that that looks pretty good for so far. Very happy that this exists again. That makes me happy that it's not destroyed. I was very nervous about that. Um, now one thing else I wanted to do here. Hydrogen we made. I want to take a look at Argon. Let's make some Argon too. Um, I want to have all the gases available to us. Uh, is that a hydrazine? Yeah, there's another one right there. Perfect. And there should be... Yeah, there's hydrogen there. We've got a lot of resources kicking around, guys. A lot of resources kicking around. And that's great. I'm very excited. This has worked out quite well. I like that. Isn't that stupid? An old contraption that was like an old fuel thruster with a generator on it. Yeah, it's stupid. It works for me. Um, battery packs. Are we... We're out of battery right now. Uh, this is easy enough to fix. I mean, that's why I, I built these things. I'm going to build more. But that should just power everything like crazy. I mean, it helps. It doesn't help that I'm smelting everything under the sun, too. Okay, we'll let you out. And we're just going to load it up with all of the extraneous bits that I... I mean, I think that a quick trip like that takes me... 40 minutes or so, half an hour of real time. Uh, and I, the reward for it is uh, peace of mind so that I don't have to worry about uh, lithium or iron or whatever it is that I'm going to be grabbing. I think it's uh, I think it's a good idea. I think that just a, a quick trip like that every day before I start my recordings is something that I need to do. I think it's fun because like for me, this is a very relaxing and rewarding thing to do. There you go. Uh, I know that lithium does not convert to anything, which is perfect. So, and I will organize everything, you know, make it so that I have like-minded things in areas, which eventually, you know, I need to do. I got, I got to make organized. I got to do the organized. Without organized, I'm, I'm nothing. Okay, that's now going to get recharged. You're good. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Onward and upward. So. Let me just think. I, I haven't really made any plans past this point today. Ooh, that's Argon. That's beautiful. The blue? See, I didn't really go into details about this, but look, the hydrogen's got this really cool orange color. i just kind of curious about what colors they do. I mean, hydrazine, I love this one too. Um, we're going to take that with us because we can put that back in our, our uh, what is it called again? Oh, yes, our spaceship. Oh, I had more lithium here. See? I forgot about it. I've got a lot of lithium, actually. Holy crap. I got lithium coming out my wazoo. And I got a fair amount of iron. Now, I don't know how long I'm going to need all this stuff for. Oh, there is some dynamite here, though. Okay, fine. That's where you want to go. Stop it! Game, I'll tell you some things. Uh, next thing I want to take a look at. Is, let's take a look. There was one thing that's been kind of bugging me for quite some time. It's called the splitter. And I don't know what the heck it is. I think it was on this one. Trade platform, shredder. Did I unlock it yet? I've unlocked most of the stuff in our setups. Uh, large platform, see, not yet. I will get that next. Medium generator. How do I not have that made yet? Interesting. Shredder, drop ship. That has to be unlocked. Splitter, coffer, and graphite. Let's do the dropship as well. Copper and graphite. Did it say graphite or graphene? Double check that. 
Copper and graphite. Okay. Uh, should have copper kicking around here someplace. Copper? Graphite? I'm assuming I'll print that here because it makes sense. There you go. Um, splitter. See what it does. I have absolutely no freaking clue what it does. Like there is nothing that I've encountered uses it yet. Why? Are, okay, everything is just sucking away the energy here. It's got to be this. This has got to just use up a boatload of energy. Uh, wow. Yeah. This is nuts. I got way too much crap. See, this is what happens when you start hoarding. Like, I got extra, in case I die, I've got extra oxygen canisters. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm loaded for bear. Um, really? It doesn't really... Separates or combines two lines of power flow. I mean, I, I, I guess it has a purpose. I just don't know of it at the moment. I mean, the extenders and all that, too. I just, I guess it's just me. I just haven't had the, the wherewithal to, you know, take advantage of something like that. But it doesn't seem to... Uh, let's try this. Did that do a thing? This whole section's dead now. Yeah. Nope. Splitter, don't know what you do. We'll just put you right here. We'll hook you guys back up over here. And then there you go. That should be good. Um, I think I'm going to end things here. I have a bunch more things that I do want to accomplish. We're getting closer to, um, to realizing my dream of going into outer space. I, I am going to set up the drop ship. I will get that organized. We will put that on one of the planets. We'll build another base out there and get this entire thing started again on yet another planet. Um, it's going to be crazy. I don't know what else to do. Uh, but there, I'm going to show you guys here real quick. Uh, not here. Let's go in. Uh, the chemistry thing. Oh, of course, why wouldn't there be one when I'm looking at it? Let's look at this. Explosive powder steel, titanium alloy, nanocarbon alloy. That is not thing. We don't need that yet. Uh, so there are things, looks like, that, we're, that will be coming that we haven't encountered yet. And that I'm kind of looking forward to getting some of that done in advance so that when it does happen, we're ready for it. What is that noise? I have no idea what's making that god-awful racket, but I don't want to stick around for another storm anyway. Thanks again, everybody, for your continued support. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow on our next one. I will have a bunch more stuff organized to go, but uh, that's all I had for today. But I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye. This is a song for all the